after getting shut down at the Hoover Dam, not being able to get in, I figured I'd check out a much more obscure place. This is the Wheel of Misfortune. Take a look at some of the other video I have of it. I don't have a drone on me or else I could get better video, but uh, clearly uh, when you're talking obscure, this is about as obscure as it gets. It is on private property. You pay five bucks at uh, the bike rental place if you want to park and come on up, uh, which is what I did. But um, I'm gonna incorporate it into Silver State sites because I like doing places that people haven't seen or aren't that familiar with. And this will definitely be one of those. Predators. I'm ready to punch something. All right, about a half an hour in to a game at the Venetian here on a uh, Thursday morning. The first time playing here since. Michael Haig stepped up to the plate and choked a woman beater out in the poker room. If you're new to the vlog, check out that vlog a couple of vlogs ago. I think it was vlog 22 or 21, somewhere around there. Um, but I had to actually take a walk after only playing for a half an hour. And this is very rare. And I admit, this shouldn't be the case. I'm still kind of running bad from yesterday too, that's part of it but a dealer has me on tilt. Okay, this dealer, in addition to being excruciatingly slow, every time he pushes a pot to anyone, he says, here you go, sir, as his way of saying, it's time to tip now. No, no, I will tip if I choose to tip. Not because you tell me to tip. And if he ever pushes me a pot, which he hasn't done yet, I reserve the right not to tip because he's pandering so hard for it. This reminds me of the time in Reno where there was one dealer who pushed me a pot, tapped the table and said, Ben, nice hand. And I said, what's that? Nice hand. Twice this dealer said, nice hand to me in an obvious effort to get a tip out of me which I think in that spot I actually ended up giving, but I was just so stunned that a few times after that, I just said, no, you know what, I'm just not gonna tip this dealer, trying a bit too hard. And for those of you in Reno, don't ask who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say. I just thought it was amazing. Outside 
played here at uh, the Venetian in Las Vegas. Played for most of the day here so far and not a lot of interesting hands, but it's kind of funny what's going on here. It seems like this trip, more than any other trip I've been on, everybody is trapping me. I feel like everyone in the game should be wearing a coonskin cap, dressed like Grizzly Adams the way they're playing. Every time I'm staying out of these traps, though, I do feel pretty good about it. They're not getting too many river bets out of me when they set these traps. And ironically, for a bunch of guys who like to set traps, here at the Venetian right now is a convention for hunters. And there are more people here than could fill Levi's Stadium twice over, I think. I actually looked it up. 61,000 people expected at this hunting convention here at the Venetian. It's absolutely insane. They're all walking around the lobby wearing badges. It's absolutely ridiculous. But uh, anyway, as far as the game here, uh, it's been a better game than what I saw at the RE the last few days, but not leaps and bounds better. The uh, first interesting hand comes when I'm in the big blind and we get a limper in the low jack and another limper in the high jack. And I'm in the big blind with queen 10 offsuit with the queen of clubs, 10 of hearts. Flop comes out 9, 10, 4 with two clubs. I bet out for 25. And both players make the call. I was really hoping for a deuce, an offsuit deuce on the turn. And lo and behold, I get one. Deuce of diamonds. I bet 60. Definitely can get called by a lot of draws here. Also weaker tens. Both players make the call. The river comes the eight of hearts. At this point, I think my chances of getting three streets out of just a pair of tens here aren't great, though if I knew the players better, I would consider it. I opt for a check here. The low jack, who had just sat down, and I'm gonna quote Jeff Boski here to a degree, an Asian male, ages 30 through 60, goes all in for $595. Hijack folds and it's back over to me and I really gave this some consideration. I just don't really see how this guy is gonna have too many big hands here. I mean, he's certainly polarizing his range. I've never played with him before, but it seems like he's telling me he either has a straight or he has nothing. Now, when you look at the busted draws he could have, unfortunately for me, I do have the queen of clubs, so I block a number of flush draws that he could have missed with here. And given the fact that I, I know I can definitely make good money in this game and I would hate to spend 600 bucks on a losing call in a spot where I'm unfamiliar with my opponents, I decided on a fold. Still don't feel great about that fold, but uh, didn't find out if I was right or not. All right, into the Grand Canal shops. Fake Venice here for one more hand here at the Venetian. Interestingly enough, I open up Pocket Kings under the gun to 20. And to quote Jeff Boski again, another Asian male ages 30 through 60 is in the game. This guy's been watching a movie on his phone the entire time. And he raises me to 70. It's always tricky when guys are watching movies and they're playing against you. And he hasn't three bet me all day, that's for sure. Folds back around to me and I decide not to re-raise here. I like just calling to keep some of his weaker hands that he could have in there against me when I have kings. So I make the call and the flop comes 10, 9, 7 with two clubs. I check and he bets 200 here into a pot of about 150 or so. An over bet leaving him only 200 behind, which definitely got me to thinking. It's hard to believe that he'd play aces like this, but even if he was, this is definitely a spot where I'm never folding, obviously. So, I decide just to make the call and see what he does on the turn. I make the call. Turn comes the four of hearts. He bets all in for his final 200, and obviously I call. He shows pocket jacks. River comes a queen. And I end up felting him, and he does not rebuy. So that hand, definitely the highlight of the trip to this point. Though after booking about a $600 loss yesterday at the area, I'm still stuck on the trip. I'm gonna try to win that money 
hoping that I convince them here tonight as I round out this session at a hunter-filled Venetian resort and casino here in Vegas. All right, for those of you looking for quality poker content and analysis, you can turn this vlog off right now. I wasn't really on tilt earlier last time you saw me in this garage. When I talked about the dealer pandering for tips, but right now I am on full blown fucking tilt. Oh my god. Some of the things I saw today, absolutely ridiculous. I was booking maybe a four or five hundred dollar win earlier. Then uh, I ended up running jacks into kings, losing about 150. Then I ran kings into aces, lost about 350, maybe closer to 400. Then a guy slow played aces pre-flop on me and slow played him on the flop on me. I guess it ended up being a great play for him. He then celebrated after he won the hand as if he'd never won a hand before in his life. Lost a couple hundred more there. Flop an open-ended straight flush draw with four or five of hearts on a six of heart, seven of heart offsuit ace board. A guy goes absolutely crazy with ace jack. I, of course, brick off everything and lose the hand. And speaking of straight flushes, they're giving out bonus hands, 500 bucks for the high hand every half hour as a result of them taking $2 a hand at $10 for the jackpot. There were three winners during my 11 and a half hour session at my table alone today. Not only did I not win one, I never even qualified for one. Not one time, not one full house the entire day, not one set the entire trip, though I lost to about seven or eight of them in this trip to Vegas. Oh my God, the worst trip ever to Las Vegas, that's for sure. Not a total catastrophe for me money-wise. Ended up losing about 600 yesterday and about 800 today. So a minus $1,400 trip, give or take. In addition to the Golden Knights loss, I apologize for this rant. It's now over. I will see you back in Reno.